Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. Well, you'd have heard the Prime Minister's message last night about entering a new lockdown. Uh, friends, the facts are stark. Rising COVID infections, massive pressure on the NHS and a new strain of the virus, which is really hard to contain. So we just wanted to give you a little heads up and chat to you just for a few minutes about um, where we've decided to land as a church and how we feel that we want to move forward. Now, the current guidance does still allow churches to gather for corporate worship, but we met as a pastoral team this morning and we just asked the question together, just because we can meet, does that mean that we should meet? So in an effort to keep ourselves as a community and the wider community safe, we feel the wisest decision is to only have our Sunday services online. Mm -hmm. So for now, no in-person services. But we will continue to meet online at 10.30 and 5.30 every Sunday on YouTube and the Church Online platform. So at this time of another lockdown, it's so important to keep connected to one another. So if you're not in a small group or you haven't connected with the community, we would really encourage you to get involved so that you can do life together at this really tough time. We'd also love to encourage you to join us on the After Church Zoom calls. They just give us a chance to chat and connect in smaller groups and to meet others in church in a relaxed way. Now, you might be just completely fed up with Zoom. You might feel that some weeks you're on a Zoom call from nine till five every day. And we do feel that sometimes. But, you know, we have actually had such fun on those after church Zooms. We've got to connect with and chat with people that we've never met before. We found out things about people we never would have known. And actually, we've had a lot of laughs. So if you can push through, we would love to see you and chat with you on those after church Zoom calls. Yeah, if we can help you get connected as well, just pop an email through to the office and we can invite you and include you in a small group. Hebrews 10 speaks to this moment that we're in. It says, let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. Yeah. So what about youth and children? Well, for those of you who connect with youth, Aaron is really looking forward to being able to gather together again in person. But until that's possible, he would love you to join in on Friday nights for a social catch up. There'll be games, there'll be prizes, there'll be loads of fun to wrap up the week. And then on Sunday nights, the youth are starting a new series called Insights. And you can find details about all of that on the website. For children, we're continuing with the Kids and Families All Age Talk on Sunday mornings. And you can find that on YouTube. Then from 9.45 until 10.15, there's a fun family encounter Zoom for all ages. And if you have children in years five and six, then the small group meets at 5.30 on a Sunday evening. Now we recognise this season is tough yeah. for so many people, especially for families, for those that are working in key worker roles in the NHS. Homeschooling. Yeah, lots of changes. And that's why we're leaning into the subject of God's plan for our well-being. How yeah. do we navigate this and have a sense of well-being in the midst of these circumstances. That's starting on Sundays from this week. So we do want to reassure you that we are constantly reviewing what we're doing as a church. We're trying to keep up with the government guide guidance. And just as soon as we're able, we can't wait to be able to gather together in person. We love you all. We're praying for you. And um, we hope to be able to see you really soon. God, God bless. bless.